How's it going everybody? My name's Damien and welcome to Blue Collar. If you guys want to see me weld up this piece of iron here <laughs> after my dad broke it, this goes to a, a, a disc for the garden that goes on the back of a tractor. I've already done some work on this before off camera, uh, but here's what we're showing you today. If you guys want to sit back, relax, and watch this right here, well, you came to the right place. I hope you guys... Alright, here we are. So... This is the disc to the tractor I was talking about out there. Uh, what we're going to be fixing today is this break here. It broke right along an old weld. Um, what I'm going to do to fix that today is I'm going to go ahead and cut this as flat as I can along the top and the bottom. I'm going to try to cut out some of this weld here with an angle grinder and uh, get it as flush as I can to this metal here and clean all this stuff up and uh, I'm going to get a plate, measure this here. I'm going to take a plate, probably about two inches, give or take, uh, from the bottom inside of this plate, not the outside. I know you saw me measure the outside, but inside of the plate and up for a backing plate back here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to weld all this up. And then I might make another two inch front plate after welding all this up, clean it. Put the plate on there and weld around the plate sides on front and back and it'll be buttoned up all the way around uh, i'm not for sure if i want to do a front plate yet i think the back plate might be more than enough but i might change my mind throughout the video so we'll see but for now we're going to go out there we're going to use an angle grinder and cut uh two two inch plates might hold off on cutting one now, but uh, we're going to cut them and then start coming in here and cleaning all of this up to get ready to weld everything up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a little bit more than two inches. I'm going to go ahead and do about probably two and a half. Make a mark there. It don't got to be perfect. I'd like a little bit more metal than not enough. Take the speed square. Kind of mark this thing up. Just so I know where I'm cutting. And then we'll get this grinder out here and cut this off here. All right, so we got this piece cut out here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to clean it up on this bench grinder. And uh, not only am I gonna clean a lot of this stuff up here, I'm gonna clean a lot of the rust around it off too. So when I weld everything, I don't have to worry about cleaning it on there. So I'm gonna get this all shined up, all metallic-like. And then we're gonna move over here. I'm gonna start cutting and stuff. Okay, here's what we're looking at right now. 
That's kind of where we're going to be sitting at, except maybe a little lower once I cut this weld out here. What's going on on the back side here, you guys can't really see, but that weld is all the way through, and on the other side it has a lip that sticks out further than this plate would have. What they did is weld around the front side and back, that's why it has that lip, and this won't sit flat. And you can see how I cleaned all the sides. So it would be easier to weld. And then if you go to paint it, it's real, real simple. You just paint. You know what I mean? You don't got to worry about cleaning it later. I learned that from another YouTuber. So don't think I'm just the smartest man alive. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get ready to cut this out. I'm not going to mark anything. I'm just going to rough cut it. Since we have this backing plate here, I don't have to worry about trying to fill any craziness. Uh, let's go ahead and get cutting this out. Do you guys hear that? <laughs> started to rain on me. Good thing we're inside today, huh? Anyways, let me turn the camera over and show you what we're working with here now. We have a little bit more of a gap, and it's not because I cut off more, but I went ahead and I put this clamp on here to hold this in place, because while I was trying to grind it, I didn't even think about it. You know, silly me. It just started turning. <laughs> and you know, you can't cut it if it's turning. So I just clamped it, and what it did was force that uh, bottom plate down. But I went ahead, and I didn't really sand too much off here. And yeah, I was using a sanding disc right there. Who knows what grit, 80, 60, something like that. I sanded a piece off here, sanded that down. Sanded a little bit in here. It's kind of hard to get in there with a grinder. Uh, we grind as much as we down as we could after we cut it. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to weld this up. I'm going to let this clamp go. It's going to come back up. We're going to get it relatively close. Alright, so I went ahead... And tacked everything and I held it in with a vice grip while I was tacking everything so this can come off I just wanted to show you guys uh, and the reason I decided to tack it before actually showing you guys me welding it is so I'm not fumbling around with four things while trying to video at the same time I'm just trying to save a little bit of time here so I tacked it in all four corners and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the I'm gonna put a, the grinding wheel right there on one of them grinders I'm gonna come in here and I'll clean it up clean it up in here a little bit I'm not going to cut the welds off, I just did, okay? That'd be dumb, so don't grind all of it. But grind enough to where it's clean, and then I'm going to run a line here, and a line up there, and then I'm going to start trying to fill all of it in. Um, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to try to flush it all the way up. It'll take a couple rods, but I want it to be pretty strong, so I don't break it again. Uh, I went outside and I measured uh, the other one that's on there. This was like an inch off. I think it was 10 and 3 quarters on that one outside and 11 and 3 quarter on this one. Um, I'm going to go with what it was at instead of trying to follow the other one because this one was bent already. You can tell right here that it was bent and it's been rubbing. So I'm not going to worry about getting it to the exact measurement of the one outside because I guarantee you this side's different than that one. Um, Should have took a measurement from the beginning. It's not a big deal. This should go on there. Um, but like I said, I'm coming here, grind this stuff out just a bit, clean it up, and then get right back into welding. And you'll probably catch me right as soon as I start this next uh, pass through here. All right, let's check out what we got going on. It's gonna be awfully loud because of the rain. I'm gonna show you this, and then we'll come back after I weld it all the way up. Okay, here's what we're looking like. Like I said, I'm gonna get ready to weld all this up off camera. Who knows what's gonna happen to the rain. If I stay in here any longer, I'm going to drown. This shop's got more holes in it than my neighbor's private property sign that's been there for 50 years and somebody for some reason shot it with a shotgun. So let's hurry up and weld this up. Alright everybody, I was using the 7018 rods, I don't know if I told you guys that. I didn't do anything crazy, it was just 7018 the whole way. And here's what I wound up getting. I didn't clean up too much, I don't care about grinding it or not. I had a little trouble with this one 
kind of falling in on me and it's because I was welding with the stick going that way so it's just pushing everything off of it instead of dragging it so if you get into a corner like this put your stick up tall and drag it back to you don't try to push the metal into itself because it I mean it's not a good time anyways here's the other side I only did one pass on this one uh, it was pretty simple just enough to meld them together this is what I was worried about uh, the metal's still pretty hot. Make sure you touch it with your bare hands just so you can gauge how hot it is. It's raining. I wish I, w I guess I could have showed you guys, but there's just too much noise, and that took a little bit, so uh, at least you guys can see the outcome. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. I know I haven't put a lot out uh, recently. That's my fault. I've been kind of lazy. Uh, I say that. I have a lot of stuff going on, so uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.